Okay, so what I want to do today was I want to see if I can find the derivative of the Lambert W function. So let's get started. And what we can do, we'll approach it the way we would with any inverse function, which is really we want to use implicit differentiation. So what I'm going to do is we're going to set our Lambert W function equal to y. And that's going to allow us to use our formula here on the right. We'll rewrite our y in the form of this Lambert W function like y e to y e to the y. Just noticing if we were to apply it the other way, we would get back our y. But then from here, we can equate what's inside the Lambert W. So we're going to say that then x equals y e to the y. Now we have something that we can differentiate pretty easily. So on the right side, we're just going to end up with 1 when we take the derivative of x. And then on the right side, we'll use the product rule. So we'll differentiate y and we get 1 times e to the y plus plus y e to the y dy dx. So the next what we can do is we can just divide by this whole part in order to isolate our dy dx. So we're going to have dy dx equals We'll have 1 over, let's just change the order a little bit just because, so we'll y e to the y plus e to the y. And then that's pretty nice, but what we need to do, we want to get our derivative in terms of x, because y is just a variable that we made up as a substitution. So we need our x solution. Now one thing we have, we have our, for y e to the y, we have this right here, that's, this, this piece is going to be x. And then we also know from our original substitution that we had y was equal to w of x. And so we can plug that value in right here. And so what we're left with is going to be 1 over x plus um, e w x. That's it. So the derivative of the Lambert w function using implicit differentiation. Thanks for watching.